All right, welcome back. In the last session, we did a connection, test connection to our Azure Kubernetes cluster. We ran Helm list, which is empty at the moment. Um, and we're going to use our Azure DevOps project to deploy workloads onto the Kubernetes services. All right, so first thing first, if you go to the repo, um, if I go to my repos, you would see that we haven't got any pipeline file yet. How do you create one? So you go to the pipeline, you click on new pipeline and select where is your code residing. Our code is residing into Azure repos get right. Uh, if you uh, remember, we migrated everything from GitHub to Azure DevOps and that's where our code is. If you don't want to migrate everything from um, a third party or like GitHub or a GitLab or something else, any other Git version, you could connect your Azure DevOps with the GitHub Enterprise or public repository also. For now, I'm going to use the Azure repos and I'm going to select Helm chart because that's where our Postgres and Hello World code is sitting, right? I'm going to use a startup pipeline so that it's just going to give me some sort of boilerplate code. All right, if I just hit on save and run, commit directly to the master. And if you look at the job, it should start acquiring the build agent. Build agent is the machine where your pipeline is gonna run. All the steps which you have defined, it's gonna run over there. And you can see that the uh, job was able to successful. It was just a hello world um, echoing hello world into the shell, right? Now, if you go to the repo, you would see that the pipeline is there now and you can start editing your pipeline and start defining your actual code. What what's what do you mean by actual code? This is a hello world uh, script, right? We don't want that. We want actual steps. Those are helm list or helm deploy, helm install and whatnot. All right, so how do you do that? You There are multiple ways of doing it you could use certain tasks which are by default available from Azure. So you don't have to write any custom code. You can use Azure's Helm task, which has been created by somebody like us and been open sourced into Azure DevOps community. So there's something called as Azure Helm deploy. We could use the version zero. Um, I have not memorized it. These are available if you start looking at Azure DevOps Helm task, you would actually get all the list, which is going to tell you that what are the list queues package and deploy Helm task. So you can just start reading the documentation uh, and start copying and pasting. But yeah, let's try to understand that um, right from the basic and rather than just copying and pasting. Display name. So it's going to be Helm list probably yeah first task i want to just list it in the input section there are certain uh, parameters we need to pass in what are those parameters obviously we need connection type we need uh, so that azure can uh, azure devops can connect with the azure actual azure which is going to be wherein you're going to deploy your workloads right so that's that's what we want so how do you do that? You first do it using input and under the input you would have your Azure subscription, subscription endpoint, endpoint. And that is going to be your actual service connection, which you used. You remember we used a service connection, right? So that's going to be Helm deploy. We're going to cross check it again just to make sure that it is right. And then we need the Azure resource group where we want to deploy our Helm workloads. This is specific to Azure. Azure resource group would be this is the resource group copied right from here, paste it. And then the actual Kubernetes cluster. Kubernetes cluster which is this guy over here copied and I think in terms of task this is what is done command you want to run helm list and that's why we're using an ls and I need the arguments 
we gonna use all the arguments all right that's about it let's try to run it and see if we um, get into any error or this gets successful so we just commit it as soon as you commit it um, the trigger is master branch so that as soon as something gets triggered to the master your code gets committed all right once it is committed if you go to the pipeline you would see that it has failed or successful this time it has been uh, success uh, failed the helm pipeline is uh, not valid so it says that azure subscription endpoint is not a valid one so let's try to check what does that mean by valid one so let's go ahead to our first let's check the service connection just to check the name service connection is helm auth so i'm just going to copy this helm auth right from here go to the pipeline and start editing it right from here all right the first thing first the endpoint is this one helm auth and just check the typo if it is right or not right now let's try to save it and see if that makes a difference if you go to the pipeline again all right this time it has picked up the changes at least and trying to run it the first time it's going to ask you for the permission you're going to permit it and then it's going to let you run the pipeline so yeah that was the typo in the service connection because the service connection did not exist so that's why it could not um, authenticate to azure and couldn't understand what to run so now it's checked out the code uh, and then now it's running the helm list and as you can see helm list has been run um, this has been able to tell us that there are no helm chart available obviously we don't have any helm chart if you do an actual helm list onto the cluster you do you get the same right so you don't have any workloads available what we're gonna do in is in the next session we are gonna start defining bunch of more commands wherein we are going to start deploying our actual workloads onto the cluster. So this was just to give you a glimpse how a CI CD pipeline is uh, triggered or kickstarted for a DevOps cycle. So this is how you could just create, start creating the, um, start writing the Helm task and just defining it as in YAML. I picked up YAML because that's the cutting edge uh, tool to perform the CI-CD or write the CI-CD be it GitHub, GitLab, everywhere you write the CI-CD platform in a YAML based format. All right, I hope it was informative. Go ahead and try that on your environment as well. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.